Now, you may not know this, but study after study has revealed that people who sleep poorly are unfortunately at greater risk for a number of diseases and health problems. Hi everyone, Ed Bates here from Kilworth Chiropractic. So tip number five, do not eat too close to bedtime. Simply eating prompts the release of insulin, which is actually a stress hormone. Plus when you eat, it takes several hours for your body to move food from your stomach to your small intestine. Now, obviously this process is made a lot more difficult when you're lying down and can trigger nighttime heartburn or reflux. Now, sometimes eating late is unavoidable. So in these cases, A, make sure you don't eat too much and B, only eat a very light meal such as a salad um, with a small amount of protein, but very little carbohydrate. Linked to food, it's also worth pointing out that both caffeine and alcohol disrupt your sleep. Now, or you may think, although um, alcohol is a sedative, um, sedation is certainly not the same as proper sleep. Plus, research has shown that alcohol will cause you to wake up several times during the night, and that will definitely affect the quality of your sleep. So, that's point number five. I um, hope you find it useful, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.